Hi gang. So in this video, I am going to be swatching for you my Davina Cosmetics shadows and highlighters. Um, I do have a few of their collections, but I don't have all of them. I'll be using the Kiko Milano Long Lasting Eyeshadow Stick in the shade 19 as my black base or my dark base and the NYX Glitter Primer as my tacky translucent base. So the first bundle I'm going to swatch will be the Laveau collection which is four shades. These aren't going to be the prettiest swatches but there we go. The top shade is 347, then Zombie Reborn, then Ritual, and then Seance. Next up we have Polaris, Thermosphere, Australis, Exo, Exosphere, Borealis, and Mag Magnetosphere. That's the last one over here. So this is the Moonscapes collection. This is the shade Earthshine, followed by Lucent Ray, Airglow, Pink Flare, Moonbeam, Fire Hunt. Next we have the Candy Cakes Collection, Rainbow Blossom, Pancake Bubbles, Sweetie Sunbeam, Mystic Moon Pie, Confetti Kisses, and Cream Puff Cuddles. Next up, we have the Phantom Orbs collection. We'll start with the shade Midnight Nova, Nocturne Ash, Luna Storm, Verdant Frost, Water Mist, and Soul Lace. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. My favorite is definitely this shade, Midnight Nova, that is gorgeous. Here we have the Carnival Sweets collection. This is the shade Sweet Slush, Twinkle Toots, Butterpucker, Sprinkle Whips, Bubble Fizz, Rain Tarts, and Sour Spanx. This is the Halo Moon Collection. Eileen? Aileen? Nokomis? Mar Marama? Proteus, Zira, and Esmeray. This is the Sugar Drops Collection Cake Bomb. Soda Swap, Puffles, Taffy Bomb, Gumbles, Yum Licks, 
Portuguese. Cavity and bomb sour. This is the prismatic iridescent highlighter bundle, and because it's meant to be a highlighter, I swatched it on glitter glue, the black base and on bare skin, as you can see. Nirvana, Rapture, Delirium, Arcadia, Euphoria, Immortality, and Zion. Zion. Lastly, I have some shades that were part of other bundles, but I didn't get the entire bundle, just some select shades. This is Aquila, Runtz, Celesta, and Asteria. So I usually use the NYX Glitter Primer on my eyes when I use um, any sort of shimmer shade nowadays. Especially the Davina ones, those perform the best with the NYX Primer and that's what they recommend on their website as well. Um, if you have a flaky formula of shadow that tends to have a lot of fallout, the Glitter Primer really helps them stick. If you love shimmer, if you love sparkle, if you love jewel tones, if you love um, pastel pretty tones, Divina Cosmetics definitely has great shadows for you to play with. I haven't used all of these shades. I have owned the uh, Aurora Flare bundle, the Laveau bundle, the Halo Moon bundle, and a few of these single shadows, which are part of other bundles, but I didn't get the full set. So I can say with certainty that so far I'm really, really impressed. I mean, I just love the Aurora Flare bundle. They're so beautiful and jewel toned. Um, the Laveau bundle as well. I mean, I love them all pretty much. This, uh, what is this one called? Was it Moonscapes? I think this is, a, this is the Moonscapes bundle which I just got and swatching them, they look so beautifully metallic and foiled. I can definitely tell they're more on the crumbly side and you know, swatching my fingers, swatching my fingers, swirling my fingers in the formula, applying them onto the skin. I could tell that they were a little bit crumbly, a little bit flaky. But again, like I said, if you use, use them with the NYX Glitter Primer, um, you can definitely get a really nice full impact look on your eye. If you don't use them without a base, then you might have a problem. One thing I would like to mention is I noticed something with the Halo Moon bundle. Um, these three are from Glam Shop but these are the shadows from the Halo Moon Bundle. And a lot of them, I think four of them, have a formula that is very, very flaky. So I've gone in with a, with a brush and I've gone in with my finger and when I, I've used them, I've used them a few times already, different, all of these different shades. And my favorite is, I think, as Mir Esmeri in the swatches I felt that it didn't look as as I don't know interest or it didn't stand out of the bunch that I swatched on my hand but it's definitely a shade I really like on in my eye looks because I do like a, a red tone 
in there and I just find the Esmeré shade so interesting. Anyway, the shades Proteus, Zira, Marama and Esmeré have this very flaky texture and using it with a brush, using it with my fingers to pat on the eyelid, used with the NYX Glitter Primer, um, after a while, they, the formula of the shadows kind of separates in the pan. I had an entire chunk, like a full first layer chunk that separated from the pan and it was just so delicate. So I really don't like to travel with those shadows in particular because I know that if I, you know, if it rattles around in my bag and stuff, um, the shadow could really, could easily fall apart and just go everywhere um, when I open the palette. So if I would travel with them, I would probably wrap them individually in like tissue paper to make sure that any sort of crumbling, flaking um, is contained in one spot as opposed to even in a palette like this, it'll go everywhere and it'll be harder to repress one shade. Um, I've already repressed these three shades. If I hadn't repressed them and I just tipped it over, whole chunks would just fall out onto the onto the table. It, it was it was really that bad. So I've also noticed that there's one shade from the Sugar Drops collection which has a very similar formula, and this is the shade Taffy Bomb. Now I can already see there's some sort of separation going on in the pan. The Carnival Suites collection, it looks like some of them might have that problem. I don't know yet. I can't say for sure because, you know, they're really new. I'm also wary of the Moonscapes bundle in terms of how flaky they will eventually um, be if there will be a lot of separation and breakage in the formula as I use them over time. I'll keep you updated on my Instagram if, uh, if anything like that should happen. So that's it for this video. I really do enjoy Davina Cosmetics shadows and I am excited to experiment with these new collections. Um, let me know in the comments below if you're if you've ever tried Davina Cosmetics, what's your experience with them? Have you had the similar issues of flakiness with some of their uh, shadows, especially the Halo Moon one? If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing. That would really help me out and give me some more audience exposure. I... yeah. That's it for me and ciao for now.